Hey everyone, Wax Weirdo here, and I have a haul from Sugar Melts by Stacy. And this is two orders. This is a pre order from a few pre orders ago, and then also a custom order that I did. There is a lot to get through, so I'm gonna try to be a little bit snappier so that this video isn't um, still going while you're trying to sleep at night. <laughs> you're watching all day. Okay, I'm gonna start with. I'm your Huckleberry. This was just an oil that she had. I'm not sure what's in this one. I couldn't find the notes. But it smells delicious. There is a berry note. There's almost a hint of a banana note in here, but I don't think there is banana in this particular one. But there is no floral. I don't, I'm not getting any, anything green on cold. So that's exciting. Try that out. This is from the pre-order. So you know it's from the pre-order because it'll say the pre-order on the thing. So I won't say each time, this is my custom or this is a pre-order. This is in Slurpee, which is lemon, lime, orange, splash, ginger ale. That's really nice. The ginger ale, um, you definitely can pick out, but it's not as dominating as usual. Ginger ale is very, very strong. So these, the lemon and the lime and the orange just kind of, I, I want to say tone it down, which doesn't make any sense because those are strong scents too, but Fizzy is really strong. It just tones down the Fizzy a little bit with their beautiful citrus notes and those are great citrus notes. I'm not getting anything like cleansery or the rind. It's like just pure lemon, lime, and orange deliciousness. No weirdness going on. Okay, next I have a bag in Mr. Bubbles, which is Violet Powder, Light Floral, Peony, and Alyssum. Is that how you say it? Alyssum? Oh, it smells good. It is kind of taking me back to Mr. Bubble days <laughs> when, you know, you splash about and your mom pours Mr. Bubble in your bath. We didn't have it too often. This smells a little bit more floral than I remember it to, um, but we'll see what it's like when it's melting. Next, I have a bag of shapes in Cookie Monster. This is Animal Crackers, Sugar Cookie, and Pink Cotton Candy. Mmm. I get sugar cookie right away. I can pick out the animal crackers too. And the, the pink cotton candy is subtle, but it does add a little bit of a sweetness. This is really good. It just, it does, it smells like delicious cookies. Oh, it's a hiccup. That's weird, I'm sorry. Very weird. Okay, next is a little bag of Double Travel. This is banana caramelized sugar creme brulee rich clove and bazooka bubblegum. I'm so picky with bubblegum. Oh, it smells good. This is the harsher bubblegum that I don't usually care for, but I'm not mad at it. I'm not mad at this one. And I think it's because of the banana and all those other notes, the creme brulee. I think it's kind of morphed it a little bit into a nice little blend. So to me, this really smells just kind of like a banana bubble gum mostly. I'm not getting the caramelized sugar or the clove aspects as much on Colt. Next up, Sugar Rush. This is Cinnamon Toast Crunch, not Trust Crunch. Very strange that I would type that out. And some almond milk. A cinnamon toast crunch or almond milk. It smells nice. So I'm not sure. I'm really just kind of getting a cotton candy with a little bit of orange, which is kind of strange. I know that is strange. I don't, I mean, I don't think there would have been a mess up or anything like that, but maybe when it's melting, it'll change. You know, sometimes oils just smell completely different. Uh, we'll see. And also just to note that Stacy's Wax 
does not need cure time, though I've had these for a while. I just hadn't had a chance to film yet. And that they're all, they're made out of like a coconut wax that she had specially made. So just to let you know. Okay, and this is Taryn's Lane. And this is a bag within a bag. This this original bag had ripped, but that is okay. Um, This is supposed to be a, like a secret minty blend. That smells really good. It's definitely got the mint, very creamy. Mm -hmm. Very creamy, almost a hint of candy in there. Very starlight mint with maybe a hint more of a softer mint, maybe spearmint, wintergreen, and peppermint in here. It's very lovely. I will save that for mint season. Next, I have Tiffany's Ice Cream Shop, and this is Cupcakes at Tiffany's Ice Cream Scoop Bread and Waffle Cone. Hmm. This is nice, too. Sorry, I'm sniffing a little bit. I'm getting... Definitely the ice cream scoop bread the most. I'm not getting a whole lot of cupcakes at Tiffany on cold, and I'm definitely getting waffle cone. But I'm also experiencing a little bit of feminine from this. Yeah, there's like a, a little bit of a feminine note in here. So I'm not sure if it's just my nose or what, but that's what I'm getting on cold. Da -da 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 -da. Okay, then I just have a ginormous bag of fresh raspberries. Now, her fresh raspberries are supposed to be fresh picked raspberries. And I have melted this one before and I do enjoy it, but I do not think that it necessarily smells like the fruit. I, I'm getting raspberry, don't get me wrong. It's tart, there is a tanginess. Uh, but there's also a very, I don't want to say heavy, but it's in there, fresh green note. So it's like this should be like raspberries and green. And raspberries and leaves or raspberry leaves. Because mm -hmm. that's what I'm getting. It's so almost, you know, a little bit of grass. But I'm not mad at it. I actually really like it there's just something invigorating about it very springtime deliciousness involved here mm -hmm. okay this is actually one of my favorite blends i did this last season when it was mint time for me and it was grinchmas crunch which is mint lemon cinnamon brown sugar vanilla white cocoa and sugar which kind of sounds Weird, like there's a lemon in here. Uh, but it is just one of my favorite mint blends. It's just a creamy mint goodness. It's completely different than Terrence Lane. Mm. The white cocoa in here does bring a little bit of a chocolate vibe, but it's not irritatingly chocolate or it's not the chocolate that uh, a lot of people loathe. It's a beautiful, creamy, just there. it's just a sweet addition. Something special. Moving on, I did get some pink champagne marshmallow. Oh, that's gorgeous. Mmm. Mm. I'm definitely getting some champagne, some sweetness. It's feminine, but it's fruity. Oh, that's gorgeous. It's almost perfumey, but with the champagne, it adds a pop of, uh, just a, a little pop of fizzy, but not very hard to explain. Very delicious. Wow. Love that. Okay, then I did get a clam in Boss Lady. This is creme de menthe, sweet lavender, blueberry cobbler. Ooh, very hiccupy. I am so sorry. Hmm. 
I don't really care for sweet lavender too much. But I'm not getting a whole lot of it. I'm getting mostly mint, mostly blueberry. Mm. Yeah, and maybe a little bit of lavender. But it's almost a little herbal to me, not necessarily sweet. So that's just a little different. And I'm enjoying it. Well, the cold, anyway. The cold miss the cold sniff. Okay, next is, this is Val's Sugary Velvet, which is velvet sugar, pink sugar, and sugar cookie. I don't usually pick up things with pink sugar, but I wanted to see what this was. And it's pretty good. Oh, it reminds me of, oh my gosh, it reminds me of Fantasy from Britney Spears. Her perfume, not as strong. Oh, that's totally what it is though. Yep, I'm gonna say this is Fantasy from Britney Spears. If you remember the pink round bottle with the little faux diamonds. Whoa, weird wind noises. Did you guys hear that? Hmm? Okay, next is a lemon cookie bar. That freaked me out. Okay, this smells delicious. Mm. On cold, this smells a little bit different than most lemon bakery that I've come across. Mm. There's just something a little extra special about the lemon in here. It's um, you know what it is? It's kind of like, I feel like it's a lemon, lemon powder sugar cookie, like a wedding cookie, a powdered wedding cookie with lemon in it. That's kind of what I'm getting, which is different than a lot of my lemon bakery I've done in the past. Okay, that's delicious. Next, we have some sweet corn custard. I told you guys there's a lot. We're not even halfway through yet. Oh, that's nice. That's just kind of got a creamy bakery vibe. Maybe a hint of spice, just a little bit. Definitely like a, yeah, like a custard creme brulee-ish with a little bit of spice. That's really nice. I like that. Keep going, keep going. Okay, we have Nerds, which is strawberry, grape, and lime. Good too. Mm -hmm. The strawberry is good. It's kind of the, it's more of a tart strawberry, which I really am, am appreciating. The lime is nice. It's like a lime sherbet. It's not the cleanser or like the vinegary aftertaste lime. Mm, and the grapes nice. This is really good. It's a different combo than I've usually experienced. I'm really liking that. It is very fruity candy. Fruity candy, fruity candy. Okay, then we have jelly beans. Yum. It is fruity. More fruity candy, a little bit different, almost getting a little bit more of cherry kind of than anything else. That's lovely. Okay. I did grab some grape creamsicle. And this supposed to be kind of a grape frozen pop which I kind of get a little bit of that, but to my nose, I'm getting that a little bit of a Play-Doh undertone, which is kind of bizarre. If you guys watch my channel, you know sometimes I get undertones of Play-Doh from pretzel or funnel cake, some waffle cones. It's not every oil like that, it's just some oils. Give me that, this is kind of pulling to that. Okay, then I did have a custom that I did 
which is blackberry chestnuts and brown sugar and cherry Jolly Rancher. I know that sounds weird, but it's quite pleasant. The cherry is nice and bright. So is the blackberry. I don't get the chestnuts and brown sugar as much, but there is mm -hmm, a little bit in there because the cherry and blackberry are kind of toned down. They're not as um, in your face candy scents as much. So that's lovely. We'll have to try that out when it's time for blackberries. I did get a clammy in orange dream cake, which is orange splash, orange chiffon cake and a splash of pink chiffon. It's very fancy. That's lovely. Mmm, it's a bright orange, barely, barely that pink chiffon sweetness. Oh, it's really lovely. It's almost, um, I wouldn't say it's body care, but it would be a nice body care item. Let me smell that again. Oh, yeah, it's just fruit for the orange and delicious a spot of pink chiffon on there. That is nice. That's probably one of my favorites that I'm getting so far. Okay, another custom I did was pineapple slices and salt water toffee. Mm -hmm. That's good. Hmm. Some of these perplex me and interesting. I get the pineapple, but I'm almost getting a little bit of a bakery vibe from this. It's good. I don't get the saltwater taffy as much, but yeah, it's almost like I'm getting a pineapple cake. So we'll have to see what that's like when it is melting time. Okay, then we have ripe for the picking and more saltwater taffy. And ripe for the picking is cherries, blueberries, and raspberries. And I have melted that one on its own. And it's just a beautiful candy buried dream sugar berries and candy. Oh, yeah. That smells good, too. Mm -hmm. Ripe for the picking. And I'm still kind of getting, at the beginning, a hint of cake. And then the end is the ripe for the picking. But it's good. I mean, I'm not mad at it. Just wasn't what I was expecting. Okay, then I have some strawberry milkshake, which is strawberries, orange dewdrops, green apple, pineapple, peach, marshmallow, sugar, vanilla bean. Now, I would think strawberry milkshake would just be like strawberries and cream. Mm, but it smells really nice. I'm. What I'm getting is a similarity to mm -hmm, um, Sassy Girl Aromas Strawberry Milkshake where there's a little bit of a greenery in here. And um, I am getting some other notes as well of fruit. Well, of course, because that's what's in there. But it's good. It's very, very good. Keep on going. Oh, and I do have some mystery bags in there. I think I have two maybe. She was so, this was a whole mystery bag of free goodies. So instead of sending samples, she sends like a free bag. Like how sweet is that? Oh, what is this? What is this? I think I'm getting lavender. Lavender and berries maybe? I don't know. I'll probably never find out, but it smells really good. It's a lovely lavender and something fruity. I swear that's what I'm getting. I like it. Mm -hmm. Okay, I got some little cupcakes in crunch berry and fresh raspberries. This was a custom. I'm really mostly just getting those fresh raspberries. They're so strong. Um, we talked about them before, just kind of that raspberry and very um, strong and happy green note, which I like. But just know the fresh raspberry, it's not a candy raspberry or a jam raspberry. Got some zesty mango here, which is mango, clementines, raspberries, and vanilla. 
Mmm. Yeah. That's good. Mmm. I get the mango, the clementines, and the raspberry. Oh, that is so good. Super candy, super delicious. Bright, tart, and tangy. Oh my gosh, yes. Give that to me. Give that to me. Then we just have some animal crackers. And it just smells like a cookie. Um, kind of lighter than sugar cookies, not as deep as sugar cookies. Mm -hmm. A little bit of frosting with that. It's pretty light though. So we'll really have to get the test when it is warmed. Keep on going. We have some fluffy candy, which is cotton candy, juicy bubble gum, lemon drops, and Madagascar vanilla. Ooh, yeah. Cotton candy for sure. Mmm, yeah, berries, a little bit of brightness from the lemon. Let me smell more time, sorry. Mmm, yeah, and the Madagascar vanilla just elevates it at the end, the after smell. Mmm, oh, I like that too. That's definitely one of the faves. All right, I got some cereal bar. This is Fruit Loops, Crunch Berries, and Lime Kicker. What's Lime Kicker? That's lovely. It just smells like cereal. It smells like your Fruit Loops, mostly bright, close to Lemony Loops from GM, which is, I like to mention that since GM is no longer, this is pretty similar. I don't get the Crunch Berries as much. Okay, another custom of mine. I did cupcakes at Tiffany's and fresh raspberries. Now in hindsight, you know, they're probably not gonna go together as well. Just before I smell it, just cause it's a green note raspberry. So yeah, it's, it's okay. The raspberries are great, I get them, and I do get the cupcakes at Tiffany's too, but we'll try it. We'll see what it's like when it's melting, but it wouldn't have been my ideal raspberries to put with it. But that's what we live and we learn, right? And that's what I'm telling you now too. I got some Meltdown, which is peppermint, spearmint, sweet mint, cotton candy, and vanilla. So this is mint medley madness. Woo! That is some, yeah, crazy mints. Very pepperminty, very sweet minty. The spearmint and the cotton candy vanilla are in there, but it is like straight up peppermint extract and sweet mint extract. I like it. That's gonna be something for when I'm a sick child. More, more, more. I've got banana daiquiri, which is banana, coconut, citrus. Oh, it's nice. At first I get the Laffy Taffy banana and then I get a hint of coconut. Mm -hmm. And it is brightened up just ever so slightly with the citrus. I wouldn't have necessarily said it was citrus, but there is sort of a lifting brightening note in there now that I know. Okay, we're getting there. We're probably like two thirds of the way done. Here's a, another combo that I did custom, which is cupcakes at Tiffany's, chestnuts and brown sugar, and cherry Jolly Rancher. <laughs> I was about, that was lots of chestnuts and brown sugar action. Oh, that's delicious. Wow. Okay, that's good on cold. Mmm, the cupcakes and Tiffany's and chestnuts and brown sugar go really well together. And then there's a little bit of a fruity cherry going on in there. But the cherry is uh, in the back seat. Usually cherry is so strong and takes, you know, center stage. But it's a little bit more in the back. So that's interesting. I've never had that before. And I'm really excited about it. Next, we have some Hawaiian pineapple. Mm. 
Yum. This is just beautiful pineapple goodness. Bright and fruity. Not super strong smelling on cold, so. But we will see what it's like when melting. I've noticed that. I have melted um, sugar melts before and something may not seem strong like coffee cake I did around the fall time or the, yeah, I, November maybe. And it wasn't as strong when I was smelling it, but boy, when I melted it, it was perfect. I got some buttercream sprinkles. And it's nice, just a, a good buttercream. The after smell, I say after smell, like aftertaste. The after smell uh, is really lovely. I It lingers a little bit after with that butter and creamy notes. Mm, lingering goodness. Okay, continuing on this journey. Got some buttercream sugar cookies. Oh, it smells really good. The buttercream is really not sweet. And the cookies are really nice. That's nice, nice, nice. I know it's plain, but it, it smells good on gold. Marshmallow bomb. Okay. It smells, I mean, I'm getting like marshmallow, but I'm also kind of getting a little bit of a waxy, just a tinge, but maybe that won't come out as much. I kind of get a little bit of a waxy from Vintage Chic Scents Jackie O, and my sister Frankie loves that one. And it, it, it is kind of waxy when you smell it, but when it's melting, it transforms. So it could be something like that. I got some sweet tooth, which is butter cookie frosting, cherry candied fruits, sugar, bubble gum, and marshmallow vanilla. Wow, that's a lot of sweetness in there. Ooh. There's a bag within a bag. Let me open the other bag. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, this is another uh, favorite, I think, of mine, too. Totally fruity, a little bit of bakery, and then the bubble gum really just makes it pop a little bit even more. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, sweet tooth, y'all. Yes. Here's ripe for the picking. Again, this was just the cherries, blueberries, and raspberries. We had it last time, what, with saltwater taffy? I think. Mm. It's so good. It's all these beautiful berries plus cherry goodness, candy wonderment. I love it so much. The husband likes it too. Okay, I got some pineapple slices and serendipity. Oh boy, does my heart love me some serendipity. This one I'm not smelling as much on cold. I am getting some pineapple. I am getting a little bit of the serendipity. So when it melts, I'm sure it's going to pop more. I got another mystery bag because this was two orders. She's so nice to do that. So let's see what this one is. What is that? Gum? Juicy fruit? I'm smelling citrus and juicy fruit. Like citrus, like orange and grapefruit maybe, and yeah, that, and some gum. But I'm not sure, and I'll probably never know what it is. But I'm thankful to have it, because it smells delightful. Okay, and I got some Bestie, which is strawberry, pomegranate, boysenberry, elderberries, raspberries, and creamy vanilla. This is going to be a very good time. Mmm. Yep, it just smells like a delicious berry heaven. Berry with a little bit of cream. I wouldn't, I mean, it's berries and cream, but I wouldn't say it's too much berry. Oh, that's lovely with all of that. Love it, love it, love it. Three things left, you guys. Oh my gosh. 
This is honey buttered rolls. That smells lovely. I get the little bit of bready notes from the buttered rolls. And then the honey, I mean, I've never come across a honey that actually smells like honey. It's kind of um, a body care honey that I always get, and that's what I'm getting from this as well. Oh, but I ain't mad at it. There's also, and maybe there isn't, I'm getting kind of a cinnamon in there, just a teeny bit of cinnamon, a teeny bit. Two loaves, and that's all we have. Oh my God. This is from the pre-order. This is It's Raining Men, which is Palo Santo, Cherry, Blow Pop, and a Blood Orange. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. That smells really good. Okay, I'm kind of getting, like, with the Palo and the orange kind of cedar wood ish mm. and with the cherry on that okay so it's like a cherry cedar wood i'm loving that oh yeah next is or last i guess i should say is raspberry pretzel puff yes so i wonder what the raspberry is like in this Okay. The pretzel is salty. I am getting that. The raspberry does smell a hint like the green raspberry ish. Mm -hmm. But there is also kind of a. Yeah, the bakery note I think kind of trumps it a little bit because it's not as strong as fresh. Pick raspberries that we've smelled earlier. We, I say we, like you smelled it with me. Uh, I smelled it. But I'm not mad at this. Let me just give it another one. Yeah, but it is a little bit more tangy raspberry. So I'm not sure what raspberry oil she has in this or if it's a one oil, you know, I'm not sure if it's blended or what, but yeah, it's, it's pretty good. Okay, that's it. That's everything. Oh my gosh, I can't believe I got through this. If you got through it, whoa, kudos to you. Let me know if you've tried Sugar Melts by Stacy, and if I need to grab some other things that I haven't before. I do have another order sitting to be filmed and another order on its way. I'm just waiting for that second one, so it'll be a twofer. Okay, bye.